just sneaking in to get some footage but it's pretty dark in the mornings at the moment but you'll notice that we have a stud wall that has gone in here this is just on an angle um, in here which will give us the maximum size for the bathroom to the studio if we just pop through the door this door that we're walking through now will actually be covered over once the project's complete but we can see in here we've got some stud work going up the room is starting to take shape uh, this over here will be the kitchen area and we've got a return wall in here behind that will be a wardrobe to the bedroom area which is back here we'll have a sofa coming along here and the fireplace has been taken out which i think you guys have seen before we're going to have some replacement plaster over there because it was all blown and we had a little bit of damp and yeah the ceiling has gone in so this is the start of the acoustic ceiling. I think we've got some dampness to go on and then we've got the uh, plasterboard to be put up this week before the plaster comes in. We've got the kit behind this wall ready to lift the plaster in place. And this handy little platform down here, I'm going to be stealing because it's useful for some of the bits that I've got to do. But yeah, look, it's taking shape. We've got a door opening there. I'm not sure if that was on the last video that I showed you guys, but the uh, services guys have been in, started to get their pipe work. We've got a lot of wiring going in and yeah, just really started to take shape in here. Like I said, I can't show you the rest because it is so dark but um, I don't think much has been going on in here because uh, we're just getting all the cable in sort of sorting as to what is what it's been quite a jigsaw piece for the electricians to figure out so I was, I'll just walk past the window <laughs> um, yeah so I'll show you the rest of it once we've got some progress and I've also got some light so it's been a little bit of time not too much progress made on this side of things although it is getting progressively messier. <laughs> wow! Look! This is amazing. It's a bit better. Just starting to feel like a habitable space. Yeah. If you ignore that bit. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the guys to get on with the plaster in but yeah I just thought coming nosy in here see if much has moved on but I don't think there's a massive amount to show you we've got a new door opening here going into an ensuite it's just quite cool that we can walk through here now and this will be exiting the ensuite and back into the hallway but yeah I think we'll do a full update once uh, it's a little bit tidier in here and there's things to show you because at the minute it's just a bit of a tip Good morning guys, it's been a little bit of time since I've shown you in here. We are quite behind on schedule, which is a story for another day, but I've been like a Tasmanian devil and busy getting all of the jobs done in here now with uh, the various professionals. So we've had uh, liquid DP um, down on the floor, uh, self-leveling screed on the top, so this is lovely and smooth for when the flooring goes down next week. We are all freshly plastered and this plaster is just like silk, it's just beautiful. Uh, dehumidifier is over there and uh, doing what it needs to do, We're just trying to dry out the last of the bits and bobs in the bathroom, got a bit of condensation going on in there because it's pretty cold outside now. And yeah, we're just going to get a couple of mist coats in here, uh, it's pretty early, 4.30 in the morning, uh, just making the use of time before the baby gets up, apologies for the echo in here. Yeah, just going to get ready with the painting and get as much done as I can before uh, it's time to be mum. Freshen up and I've grabbed a coffee and I'm just 
going to start on making good of the window. I started super early to get the mist coat on the walls because it needs to dry in here for all of my drying kit going. I need to get another mist coat on this whole room before I go to bed tonight. So I've had to do things a little bit back to front and I am just starting to attack the window now whilst this is drying. So I've just been super careful. I've got a dust free sander if I need to use one and it doesn't need a huge amount, but ideally I would have liked to have done this before I did the mist coat in the room, but time scales just do not allow. So we are where we are. So I'm gonna crack on with this and then get another mist coat on the room before we start the final emulsion colors tomorrow. I say we, I mean me. Uh, and then we've got the flooring guys coming in on Monday and the bath is being fitted before they arrive. Tiles are going down and it is gonna be one busy week this week. So I'm under pressure to get what I need to done but some late nights and early mornings and it's all going to be okay. It's time to use some new power tools. It's all going pretty good. I'm still up against it time-wise. I literally started in the early hours of the morning. I haven't even brushed my teeth. I haven't stopped for a break yet. I've just carried on painting. I've painted this room so fast, I've even burned through rubber. I need to get some new gloves on. I started to cut in for the ceiling, which I wasn't expecting to do. I felt like the medium gray was going on a little bit too dark and I just wanted to see how it dried out before I committed to the ceiling just because we don't have a very tall ceiling in here and I just didn't want to bring it in visually by painting it a little bit too dark. So now that I'm happy that the tone is okay, I am going to continue the ceiling in this color which I've started to do behind me. The bathroom is done, the first coat is on that. I'm hoping to get in late tonight after Evelyn goes to bed and crack on with the second coat in there because that's where the guys will be starting tomorrow. I am up against it time-wise. Um, Darren has had Evelyn for me this morning so that I can just keep going. Uh, I'm gonna take a break soon just so that I can spend some time with her and then crack back on. And if I need to work through the night, I need to work through the night. But so far, I'm feeling pretty positive. in the bathroom and we're done in here. It's all going here this morning. We've got the chippies to let hang one of the doors on the external and we're well on with the painting. It kind of stops in here. Treat this as a separate space just this is going to be a different colour and there'll be a screen wall in here. So just focusing on the bits that we need to get done before the flooring guys come in because I do not want to be painting ceilings after the new floor's gone down. So busy cracking on. just going through PIR system and security media, all the cables are being run in the ceiling. And I think Ian is working on a door in here. Just nosy in. Oh, don't take myself. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Still no change in here. 
That big square piece of wood does not give it away. Yeah, the door. The handle's not that beautiful, I think. Oh, at least it's got a handle. <laughs> Just all the bits and bobs in the ceiling. One here. I know we're making lots of mess. Pink. In there, hasn't changed. The flooring has started. I actually thought that they would be putting the flooring down on the opposite side of the room, so I've actually got that side of the room ready first. And I'm still finishing this side. So I'm up very, very early to get that done. I'd just rather do it before the floor has been sort of all cut and it, it's all down on that side, just in case I do swap some paint on the new floor. I'm not the tidiest of painters, so I'm just gonna get that chimney done this morning and then the guys can crack on with the floor. <laughs> take this opportunity to show you the room as it is now because I think it's going to transform very quickly from here on in. So you remember just over a week ago we had bare plaster that wasn't dry, we've had the dehumidifier in here, all of the emulsion work has now been done, skirting boards are on, um, I've just filled in the fixings this morning so just waiting for those to dry. We've got this warm dark grey in the bedroom area, but we are screened to go across here. Medium grey in the main space and we've got a lighter warm grey in the bathroom. The flooring has now been finished. We have actually a different colour floor to what we thought we were having. The wrong laminate turned up and we didn't realise because it was all packaged up, the guys started to put it down. I made a comment that I was expecting it to look more red uh, and we looked into things and we realised that it was actually the wrong flooring. The flooring that I chose is actually discontinued so uh, in the interest of time and also budget we've kept with this floor which I'm not mad at, it's just not the one that I chose but I do quite like it, it works fine. I did want a little bit more warmth in here but it's fine, we'll go with it. We've also changed the tiles in here. We were having a lighter tile, which was to run through from the bathroom, but we just felt that it wasn't in keeping with the tones that we'd chosen. When we chose the original tile, we hadn't designed the kitchen and, and chosen the color palette. So we've amended that to suit what we're doing in here, which works really, really well. In the space out here, I have finished painting this wall. There was a bit of an oversight with this side of this small room in that there should be a wall in here and that needs to be done before the boiler can go in. So it's all hands on deck to get that done tomorrow morning uh, so that it's not holding up the heating system. As you know, we really need heat in here. And I think that's pretty much it for now. I'll show you this room when the kitchen is in and all of the tiling stuff has been removed and you should see a really big change in here. It's so exciting now. So I can't do any more painting downstairs. The guys have absolutely obliterated it down there. I think it will need redecorating, never mind touching up. But I am focusing on what I can do and the progress that I can make, and that is painting these light fittings. I need to get these done. Uh, they probably need another coat, so I need to get that done and get those dry so that the electrician can fit those when he comes back on Friday. And that's another job ticked off the list. Hello, a rare appearance from me on camera at the moment. I am knee deep and I'm going to be honest and say that I'm really starting to struggle with the management of this renovation. So I have been really busy. It's peak time with one of my businesses. I've been traveling internationally and I just seem to be ping-ponging around. And we'd used a um, contractor-led project on this rather than managing it ourselves. And we've just kind of allowed them their time to manage and see how the project goes. 
and we've had regular catch up and checked on schedule and things and we've always been reassured that everything is on track so i don't feel like this project other than in the first week when we had to look into the potential of asbestos and we've had um, a couple of things inside that we've had to have a look at and, and hatch a plan. We haven't needed any extensive works in any way, anything that would disrupt program so much that we would need to worry about timescales. So the urgency was because the winter was coming and we were supposed to be in here by mid-October. It's now December and two weeks ago, I took over the project management. I have finished the bulk of work for one of my businesses. I've delegated the other work that I can so that I can concentrate on turning the project around. So I've been working in the night when Evelyn is asleep and I have been painting, as you know, and doing the work that I can do. I ended up in a and &E. um, I thought I'd fractured my arm, which thankfully I haven't. Um, it's just a bad sprain. Uh, so I'm in a splint at the moment, but I'm still here cracking on, uh, trying to get things done. Um, so this weekend was the weekend that we were supposed to move in and I will turn the camera around and show you how the place is left for us to just do touching up with paintwork and do the painting of the woodwork and a few other bits and bobs and it would be home. So currently we are sleeping in our clothes and uh, we're managing to keep one small area of the house warm and of course that is for Evelyn and we can keep that at a safe temperature for her just about but we are borderline and as a mum my priority is my baby and I've probably made myself pretty unpopular these last few days by giving very firm direction and it's a shame that it has come to that but we are where we are so let's uh, show you around so we don't have any heating um, electrics have been started uh, electrician has done a great job of amending his schedule to get in and uh, work where he can the kitchen has gone in kitchen fitters that i've brought in have done a great job they've worked quickly and um, it does need cleaning up but they've done a fabulous job and we've started to get some radiators hung on the wall we don't have a boiler at the moment um, i'll show you in there in a moment so this was supposed to be cleaned out and ready for me to start my night shift of painting to be working into the early hours to make sure that we had finished the woodwork if you can see it's just been filled in where the fixings have been um, and this was what i was greeted with and this is supposed to be ready for decoration so someone's been sawing in here and made a mess uh, there's a load of kit left in here it's just generally it's dirty and I just can't work with it and I think it's so disappointing on um, such a high profile project when you look at the scheme of what we're doing at this property and that this is how we're working. I had specifically asked, I, I put a schedule even though it's certainly not my job, to project manage and to be writing schedules for other professionals but it was necessary and it was a good schedule but it still it hasn't been adhered to um, no conversation as to why things would be running late um, and yeah it's just kind of run away so this room has probably been the one that's that's held things up really this was supposed to be watertight and because it wasn't done in the milder weather it's obviously taken longer because it's been done and then it's rained it's failed this right hand wall was forgotten and the boiler can't go in until that's been done so it's had this sort of makeshift plaster job and i don't know if you can see if the camera's going to pick it up or not that this is supposed to be ready for me painting not this um well in fact yes this wall can be done i'm not sure why this wall isn't done actually um we'll add that onto the list but yeah it just needs sanding and of course that's going to make a lot of mess this edge here it hasn't got a great finish it's quite wavy so that's obviously going to make a mess so if we clean up in here i think we need to sheet that door over it does prevent the plumbers having access to be putting on their boiler we also need to wait for paint to dry etc etc so it's just sort of ruined getting the services in and of course we can't move in here without any heat so we're struggling guys uh, also a revelation was that the ceiling it doesn't look like it's been installed and the level check so it looks like um, and this is quite an expensive ceiling guys this is an acoustic ceiling which we've put quite a financial investment into so that 
there isn't any noise transfer from one floor to another. I don't know how well you can pick it up on camera, but this edge here, disappointingly, a strip of MDF has been put over our really nice metal frame. And this screen actually, um, in its entirety, costs a couple of thousand pounds. And to have an MDF piece of wood that's cut into a wedge because the ceiling isn't straight is really disappointing. Um, in the kitchen, it's about three centimetres out in one corner. And I think we've probably got a couple of inches at this corner where the ceiling isn't straight. So I think we just need to have um, a pretty direct conversation about how that's happened. It's, it's a huge disappointment. It's a big financial investment and it's a very, very big thing to put right if we needed to go for the ceiling being level as it should be. And what a shame guys, because all of this was a blank canvas and it could have been sharp. Um, this frame wasn't supposed to be here. Um, this wall was actually built the wrong size, um, actually here. So the kitchen had to be redesigned in this area. A filler panel was put in here and over here to make the opening correct for these doors, which are a set size. So we've ended up with a frame that we didn't want. It needs decorating as well. Uh, and then we've ended up with this MDF over the top. So there's a lot of sticking plasters on things at the moment, which is really disappointing. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really battling things at the moment, but I'm so happy with the tiles and flooring that these guys have done. And I think they've done a great job because the plastering that has been done, um, again, arranged by the contractor, if I can focus in this room. So we've got the tiles and an edging strip on here, which is fine, but the gap behind them, I mean, I can get a good finger width in there, which is the gap between the tiles and the wall. So that is if you draw a level from one side of the room to the other um, to have this wall straight. This is where you end up with, um, and to say that this is all new plaster, it's um, it's really disappointing. It should look like this wall. Um, so yeah, a real shame. So I think we just need to make a list and have some conversations and see where we go from there. But I think when I walked in ready to paint and this was how I was greeted, it's, I think it was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, all of my patients just seemed to leave me at that point. So there we are, a little update for you guys. Good morning, everyone. I have a renewed sense of motivation. I'm not sure where I'm getting my energy from. It's been a weekend of all nighters, but I keep just thinking about my baby daughter and it just seems to keep me going really. So I am really happy if the camera would focus. It's very dark in here. Everything is lovely and clean, and we've still got uh, the window to finish over there. I say we, me. <laughs> uh, in here, it's needed redecoration because there was so much dust all over the walls and, uh, well, just everywhere really, that if you just try to touch up where people have put their hands on the wall or they've knocked it with something, uh, it was just showing it as, as being um, kind of spot fixed. So um, paint's just drying out a little bit where I've had to do additional touch-ups this morning. We weren't able to do the woodwork over the weekend as planned because um, that door is stuck open. So there are things to catch up on, but at least we are lovely and clean. And from my perspective, I just have woodwork to be finishing off the painting for. Um, I think we'll probably have a meeting today to discuss uh, a snagging list and get all these kind of things um, discussed and see how we go from there. But I feel more optimistic. I'm very, very tired, but I also feel very proud of myself for turning things around like I have. And just to step in and have that power to make some progress um, is very valuable for me. I can't just sort of sit and wait for people to get this finished and, and get it finished to a high standard. Uh, we do have the plumber is very poorly at the moment. He was in hospital last week. I'm excited to have those guys back and to be cracking on with the heating and the sanitary wear. So hopefully that will be turned around uh, this week. So we are going to move out for some of the colder nights this week. We've had a look at the forecast and we have arranged vacating accordingly. Really disappointing that we're having to move out because well, we should be in by now, but we are where we are. Uh, so we'll enjoy a change of scenery at least, uh, albeit expensive. But this is the state of play at the moment. 
I'll give you another update as things move along. Good evening. We are in a different setting to what I expected to be filming in. Um, we have decided to admit defeat in trying to keep warm in the house at the moment and we are vacating around the weather forecast. So we've hit sub-zero temperatures and we're really struggling to just do sort of day-to-day -day things that normal families would do with a dog and a baby. Um, just general use of the house and I think just having to put a child in a snowsuit inside the house is just crazy and carrying the dog upstairs at night so that um, he's not left anywhere that is um, particularly cold. Some areas of the house are colder than others so we try to be clever about where we position everybody um, and what we get up to but we've just had to admit defeat at the moment. We are struggling with communication. I am exhausted by everything and I can give you an update. I can't really show you any progress on the studio beyond what I've been doing because there hasn't been any. And the schedule that I had written, um, a very simple one, just basically outlining the things that people had left to do, a sensible order for them to be done in. And for the most part, I, Feel like I've been pretty ignored and I came back from running around getting all the bits and bobs that people needed and when I returned to the property everyone had gone home and it was just left in a complete state and I had made it clear that the room was to be cleared out of all kit um, and any mess cleared up and I came back to kit still being left in there, dust sheets that had been down for rather a long time with all sawdust and and things and the emulsion work that I'd done there was dust right up to the ceiling I, I might have mentioned this in my previous videos I apologize if I have there's just sort of no respect for the work that's gone in there so I'm gonna pop you an update but I'm gonna end this video here we're gonna keep warm it's actually 14 degrees warmer in this place than maybe 15 degrees warmer in this place than it is um, in my home so I'm actually feeling rather warm <laughs> It's um it's sad when seven degrees excites you back home um because that's a that's a good night. So we're gonna leave this here and we're gonna take a break. We're gonna have some respite from the situation. Um I don't get a break completely because I still have to be running things, I'm still ordering things and just kind of tweaking those last minute bits and bobs and still chasing people. But it means I get to do it in a warm environment where um, my baby can play and she isn't in a snowsuit in the house and I'm not having to go to a coffee shop um, to just spend time and do normal things. It's gonna be a nice break and I'm gonna see you in my next video where I will give you probably a better update because I think there's, um, there's some big conversations to be had. So um, let's see how we get on and I'll chat to you guys in the next one.